Hello and welcome to RT Ministries. My name is Dwayne and this is the sermon part of RT Ministries. The title of this sermon is Don't Grow Weary. I think a lot of us out there, after a while we grow weary of doing good. We go just go weary in our lives with the things that go on in our lives. Satan throws this, Satan throws that. You know, our jobs throw this, we lose our jobs. You know, we, we go through things we don't expect and after a while we get a little weary. We get a little tired. But the Bible says do not grow weary. And the, the sermon today is from 2 Thessalonians 3.13. 2 Thessalonians 3.13. It's just one verse, but it, I think all of us as Christians need a reminder. It seems to when we're first saved, we have a boost of energy. We love the Lord and we just... It's so fresh and new in the love of God, and we get out there, we, you know, we tell people, and we, uh, we assume it's going to be easy. We assume everybody's going to take the Word of God and, and take it well. And after a while, you find out that the more you read, the more you uh, read the Bible, and the more you pray, the more you under, understand and you grow as a Christian, and you understand that most people don't take the message well. It's a hated message by most. Jesus was hated for his message. The apostles were hated for their message. Many martyrs in history were hated for their message. And all preachers that tell the true message are hated by a lot of people because they tell the truth. And if you tell the truth, after a while you have a danger of growing weary because you've got to deal with people here. Satan sprouts up, works through people to go against you. It's just a, a nonstop, you know, weariness. But the Bible understands that. Jesus understands that. God has understood. He was here. Remember, this is this God came down in the flesh in Jesus Christ. He understands what it's like to be tired. He understands the weariness part. Jesus was nonstop for three years on this earth. Nonstop. People bothered him everywhere he went. He didn't get the proper sleep. So he was certainly weary. He understands. And Christian, if you're weary, God does understand. You've got to understand that first. We've got to look above, though. But if we are weary, we have taken our eyes off the Lord. And sometimes, you know, myself included, I have taken my eyes off the Lord before. And I have grown weary. But this is the part, this is the part that you've got to love about God because He says He'll sustain you to the end. If you're saved... You will make it all the way to the end, even if you're weary. But here, verse 13, it says, As for you, brothers. It says, you know, sometimes you forget that the Lord wrote this. You know, Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians is written by God himself. As for you, brothers, we're part of God's family. you got to remember, we're in his family. He said, as for you, brothers, do not grow weary in doing good. Now this is a command. As I'm learning in the Lord over the years, this is not just a suggestion, this is a command. Do not grow weary in doing good. This is why we're here. We're here for the good works that God laid out for us. And the times that I got weary are the times that I'd either let some sin creep into my life and I didn't deal with it right away, then you grow weary. But it's not because of God, it's because of me. And if you're weary, it's because of you. It's not, God is not asking us to do a lot in this life. He's already done everything for us. He saved us. We're guaranteed a place with Him in heaven. He gives us. He gives us the power. He protects us. He refreshes you when you need it. He opens a door when you need it. We have got to keep a fresh look on these good works that He's laid out for us to do. This is every morning we need to look to God. We need to pray to Him, Lord, open the doors. What do you want me to do today? Help me not get weary today, Lord. You know, and there's things you can do in your life to help you not get weary, like focus. Discipline and focus are two things that will help you not get weary. Because if you get weary when your focus is off the Lord and onto, the, onto life too much. Too many people against you, you know, too many this, too many that. You go to work, you know, keep your life focused. Even my wife said the other day, she, she keeps focused at work. Because she's working for the Lord, not for people. 
Even if you work, have a boss at work, you're still working for the Lord. And that's what you have. That's the outlook you have to to look at in life, because God is your God is your boss, and He has good works already laid out. That means you don't have to you don't have to go physically find them. They're already there. You just have to wake up and go about your day. You will find the good works God has laid out for you. As for you, brothers, brothers, sisters, do not grow weary in doing good. This is why we're here. We're here to do good until the day we die, until the day we're laid up and we can't do it no more. We're here to do good, right? God, the good works. You know, the worldly people don't do much good. They sometimes do good for their own reasons, but they, they have bad motives. Christians have good motives. They're doing it for their Lord. So don't grow weary in doing good, brothers. If you are weary, get on your knees, focus on the Lord and what you were saved for. Confess your sins to God. He will revive you and concentrate and keep your eyes on Him. You know, I've, you cannot keep... We as Christians have got to keep heavenly minded. You know, I've heard some guys say, well, you can be too heavenly minded to be any earthly good. I think that's wrong. You cannot, you can never be too heavenly minded. You have good works, brothers and sisters. He said he'd help you get to the end. Revive yourself through the scriptures. Revive yourself through the promises of God. Revive yourself through focusing on Jesus Christ and everything that was done for you. If you just focus on that stuff, the weariness will go away. And you'll have joy and love. And God will just push his love through you to get to the other people to follow them good works that he has laid out for you. I'm going to say it again, brothers. As for you, brothers, sisters, do not grow weary in doing good. For in due time, in due time, you're going to reap the rewards. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.